Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. It's Cody here. Appreciate you guys uh, clicking in watching another video because today we're going to be doing yet another ranking video for collegiate logos. This time we are going to be doing the New England Collegiate Baseball League. This video was actually requested by Lucky Irish 89 Appreciate your comment on the video that I made for the New York Collegiate League. I never heard of this league, so thanks to you I was able to discover it and uh, it's pretty sweet. I like it a lot. There are 14 teams in the New England Collegiate Baseball League uh, and I've ranked dead last the bristol blues this logo isn't particularly like offensive or bad it's just not very inspired i guess the blues is definitely a classic baseball looking font um so credit for that the b actually just reminds me of the bowie bay Sox. it looks exactly like that logo you know it's kind of something we've seen before uh if you hear some jiggling in the background that's my cat marty uh playing with his toy in fact i'm gonna So there you go, guys. He can do no wrong. He's really in control of the household here. So yeah, Bristol, not bad, not the worst. There's actually some incredible logos in this league. So the North Adams Steeple Cats, very interesting name. Just like Bristol, it's fine. It's totally text-based. I really like the font. Actually, it's really unique. It kind of reminds me of something you would see scratched into a desk uh, in middle school or written in like a bathroom stall. My big thing is I just don't really like North Adams thrown in there on the bottom. I hate that the baseball is yellow. It looks like a softball. This looks like a softball logo. Just for that, I had to drop it. Next up, we've got the Valley Blue Sox. And this might surprise some people to see this logo so low on this list because it is so modern looking. My thing is I just don't like that bear, plain and simple. He's so goofy and weird and freaky. I don't know, he's way too cartoonish. But it is nice color-wise. This looks like just a very classic, not classic, but more modern looking logo. This is what I see with a lot of logos now, kind of a cartoonish, fun looking mascot guy in a circle with text of where the team is from and what the team name is, and then with a baseball in the background. This looks like so many logos I've seen. I just hate the way this bear looks. It's way too cartoony, not into it. Next up is the Danbury Westerners. This logo is very, interesting the guy just looks like mr met but he's wearing yankee pinstripes so that just feels so wrong his big goofy expression is kind of fun though like i just criticized the team for being too cartoony and then here's this like big tarcoon cartoony goofy grin but i like it so much better this way and i think it's just because the simple line work it just kind of adds to it he's not like super textured and stylized cartoony goofy he's just like simply goofy i like that i love his cowboy hat that's fun I love the uh, black and gray with red trim. I really love those colors. I just don't understand why it feels the need to include the word baseball. Like it's a massive baseball head and he's got a baseball like behind him. It actually looks like it's about to hit him in the head. I don't know why you would even need to include the word baseball. Like we get it, it's a baseball logo. Yeah, just a lot of text going on here. I'm not crazy about that, but this is cartoony and fun and silly and I'm into it. Next up, and if I butcher this pronunciation, you gotta forgive me, the Wanapasaki muskrats one of pasaki muskrats this is the one of the biggest mouthful for a team name i've had uh this is fine the colors are very simple and they work and there's really nothing super wrong with it it's balanced really nicely i do kind of like you've got like this flat level with the bat and the muskrat and then like some slightly curved text above it it looks okay it's perfectly inoffensive i just don't like that it's so hard to say such a mouthful the font stylization is pretty cool uh which is not very interesting, I guess. Moving on, we've got the Vermont Mountaineers. The, I think that's a gopher. He's super detailed and he's really hard to see. He doesn't stand out super well against like just that bold kind of forest green of the VT and the Mountaineers. And that's kind of disappointing because I really want to see him interact with those letters more, but it's really hard to see him. He just kind of blends in. That mountain is that he's standing on top of is tiny, so it looks like he's just standing on a green colored rock, which is kind of funny. He's got an interesting expression. I'm not really sure what that is, but yeah, I <laughs> I like it. He's kind of cute. This is this logo is just funnier to me than anything else. It's not really. He's not quite fierce or tough looking. I just think that this is just funny. Next up, the Sanford Mainers. <laughs> I'm not really sure where to begin with this one. First of all, the colors are pretty fun. Once again, we just see a logo or a mascot 
in between some text in a round baseball circular element. Seen this a million times. This one's pretty funny. I love that his antlers are popping out of the baseball circular, circular element. To me, he just looks like Marty Moose from the vacation movies. And I'm not mad about it. I think it's pretty funny. I love that his hat is just the logo itself. That is hilarious. I hope you can see that. This is actually really funny. I love this logo. As I'm, I'm like, I feel like this should be higher. What am I doing? This, this logo is funny. Next up, I've got the Ocean State Waves. This one's pretty cool. The colors are really cool. Very oceanic kind of vibe. I love the energy and the motion in this. You can actually feel like the whole text is like a big wave coming. That font and stylization is super unique. I like this a lot, actually. I just don't love the way that Ocean State is just kind of there. It doesn't match the rest of the font, the rest of the stylization. Feels a little lazy and at the last minute. I wish that like interacted with the word waves or with the wave itself. I would love to see a little bit more interaction there. Next up, we've got the Martha's Vineyard Sharks. This logo is sick. I love seeing purple and black with some white. We're actually gonna see that again here in a little bit. That is such an amazing color combination. It works so well. I love the attitude and the energy that that shark brings. It's very like rough and edgy, I don't know, it's super cool. Like he, he just looks super tough. It's kind of funny too, because I feel like the easy thing to do here would be the shark breaking the baseball bat or chomping it in half, like something you'd see with like the San Jose sharks in the NHL. But in this case, he's actually like holding the bat in his mouth and he's like using it to swing and hit the ball. That's funny, I like that. It's just kind of unique and I'm, I'm into that choice. I don't love the font of sharks, but I do like the motion that it has and this just feels really well balanced. Uh, the team plays actually on Martha's Vineyard Island, which is really cool in the same town that Jaws was filmed. I like that. It's kind of like a callback to like the history and you know, as far as like what the town is known for. Super cool. Moving on, we've got the Upper Valley Nighthawks. I don't love the name. Again, this just feels like a mouthful and this logo has a lot of text, but this is really cool. You know, we've seen this baseball round element that the thing is that the mascot or creature is in hundred times over, but this one's really cool because it's actually like, he's not centered in it. The baseball creates this crescent moon and the night sky. And that is really cool. That's a super creative, unique touch, kind of taking a spin on this classic round baseball with a, like a logo or a mascot in the middle. It's just kind of a cool, really creative take on that. And I like this, this is really cool. Also the Nighthawk himself is just super tough and fierce looking. I love that the back, like his, he's got little hair sticking out of the round element. It's cool, I like this. All right, and now we've got the North Shore Navigators. I like this a lot. I love that this logo didn't feel the need to include all of those words into the logo. We've been seeing that a lot throughout this ranking where it's just like tons and tons of text and it's like some of these teams are like a mouthful to say, like North Shore Navigators does not roll off the tongue very easily. So I like how simple this is with just a big N. And then he's got what I'm assuming is like their kind of colloquial nickname, just nabs written across the chest. It's cool, it just kind of shortens everything up nicely. And yeah, this guy's cool. He's just like a really pissed off looking alligator guy. And I'm into that. He's just standing up, you know, leaning on the baseball bat. He's got the ball in hand. Looks like he's ready to go. This is cool. A lot of energy on that alligator looking dude. Very simple, cool colors, awesome logo. As we crack into our top three, we get into the Mystic Schooners. Got a naval guy at the helm of the ship bat over his shoulder, looking super cool, super tough. I love that his hat is coming down to like block his eyes. So it kind of adds like a little like mystery and intrigue of like who this guy could be. These colors are super cool too. It's kind of hard to describe. There's like different shades of like orange and blue going on. I'm really into that. That looks super nice. All in all, this is super cool. Worthy of a top three for sure. In the number two spot, I've got the Keen Swamp Bats. This is sick. Like I mentioned, purple, black, a little bit of gray, maybe some white. That looks awesome. Those colors always look super sick together. I don't see that very often, so when I do, already gets like an ups for that. I think that this logo has a lot of really nice balance to it, so it does have the font, or it does have the text rather with, you know, like the words in it, but then you've got like the creature or the mascot behind it. It's balanced very well, and I like that. I love that the mascot is like a really healthy amount of like cute, but also intimidating. That's fun for the whole family because that totally works. You've got the cuteness for the kids and then you've got the toughness and the actual kind of ethos behind what the team wants to be, like tough, competitive, fierce, love that. His little fangs are super cute and funny too. I love this logo. Everything about this is awesome. The Swamp Bats have a sick logo. But coming in at number one, and this may surprise some people to see this at the number one spot after all these great logos we've seen, 
but the Newport Gulls have an insanely cool logo. First of all, those colors, you know, are they pop? It's like the first thing you see is that blue and orange. I love that. That baseball's coming in like he's ready to just smack the crap out of it. Really cool like energy and motion in this logo. The font is very simple and basic, but I kind of like that here. It's not trying to do anything too edgy or too cool or too insane. It actually kind of matches the simplicity and the funness of the gull himself like he looks just fun and goofy and i like that but he also looks a little tough i really like the layered look too where you've got gulls on the bottom and then his feet are on top of that and the newport kind of covers him it kind of creates this dynamic here usually you would see use of like shadow or shading or even some gradients to create that like that can be fine but sometimes it's very overdone and i think this works super nice and just how simple it is his uniform looks great i love that i don't know it's just a goal and a baseball uniform getting ready to hit I like this. I don't know why I do. I don't know why I like this so much, but I absolutely love it. This is super cool. The Newport Goals. I love this so much. Love that for y'all. Love that for us. And that is going to do it, guys. I appreciate you again so much. I'm loving these ranking videos. Hope you are too. This was a really fun one, and I've got some other leagues lined up that I'm really excited about, so stay tuned for those. As always, go ahead and give this video a like if you enjoyed it. Leave a comment down let me, letting me know which one was your favorite, which ones were your least favorite. Please, someone explain to me why I love the Newport Goals so much. It's really hard to put into words. Thank you again, guys. Appreciate y'all. We'll see you in the next video. Take care.